Hey guys, I'm excited to show you the brand new Slider 1 in Motion module from Metal Crone. I love its small size and wireless capabilities, and in this video I will show you the features and benefits of the system, I'll do a noise test, and I'll show you some examples of what it can do. Looking at the Slider 1 by itself, you'll see its compact design has some great features, like a locking wheel, a friction control wheel, a bubble level, a female 3 8 inch mounting thread on the bottom, and a male 3 8 inch mounting thread on the top. It has 6 inches of camera travel, and isn't as much travel as my larger slider plus, but I found that it's definitely enough slide to make an impactful shot. While the slider 1 is great by itself, what really makes this system awesome is the motion module. Together, it gives you the ability to automate slides, do time lapses, create slides during animation, plus it has the ability to be remotely controlled via Bluetooth from your smartphone. This is cool if you want to place the slider into hard to reach places. Another great feature is its size. It's about the same size as a large camera lens and fits into a bag nicely. To join the two, you will need to remove the locking wheel by removing these two screws. Once you remove the two screws, remove these two round parts and put them aside. Make sure not to lose these parts in case you want to use the slider one separately again. Now attach the two by screwing the big wheel in the middle of the motion module until the two are secure. Once you're finished assembling, you'll want to make sure that the friction wheel is set to a minimum. The motion module connects to a tripod via a 3 8 inch thread. It also has a female quarter 20 thread on the side for an accessory. I use it for an adjustable arm and clamp to hold my phone when it's on a tripod. It uses one Canon LPE6 battery, and once attached to the unit, it will automatically turn on and calibrate itself. Next, you'll need to download the free app and open it up. As long as your Bluetooth is turned on, the app will automatically recognize the motion module and you're ready to go. To understand all the capabilities of the Slider 1 with the motion module, you really have to look at the app. So here we have, starting at the left, is a battery, and that indicates how much power is left in the motion module. You have a status, right now it says ready because it is already paired and ready and waiting for commands from the phone. You have a settings button up here, and in there you can choose your frames per second. And this is going to be important later with the animation and the time lapse mode. You're going to have two large circles here. The circle on the right will adjust your speed, so the speed in which the slider operates. And as I adjust that speed, you'll notice my duration is changing. and all the settings that I change here are going to be reflected in the duration. So if I go down here, this bar here indicates your ramping. So you can have it ramp in and out of a slide. So it'll start from and slowly build up to speed and then go down. You can set those there. You have idle time. Idle time will allow the slider X amount of seconds before the slide starts. So if you wanted a 10 second delay, that's where you would set it, right there. You have your A and B point and this bar down here, and this allows you to set your start and stop points. So if you wanted to have it travel shorter than the distance of the slider, you can adjust those here. And everything I'm doing here is reflected in time there. It's also showing me the travel distance and the exact position of point A and point B. Now up here you have different buttons. You have go to A. And you have go to B. 
and this is purely to move the slider to its starting position. To do an actual slide, you're going to want to utilize these other two buttons here. So we're on side B, and we want it to travel to A. So if we push this, it'll utilize the parameters that we have set, and it'll create that slide for us. We also have the ability to loop, so it will continuously loop our parameters for our slide. You also have convert to time lapse. So when we open that up, you have an option to start it in a delay. So if you wanted to start it an hour from now, this is where you would do that. And then you also you pick the duration, how long you're going to uh, be there. And depending on the settings that you have set on the previous screen, it will let you know if it's not enough time. So with our settings we have on the previous screen, it's showing me that the minimum duration should be one hour and 39 minutes. So it's all calculating from those parameters. So looking at the stop motion animation portion, we can go into it there. It's going to utilize the parameters that we had set on the previous screen, and it's going to calculate it based on the frames per second that we put in the settings. And at this point, you're going to want to make sure that you have a cable attached from the motion module to your camera. In both the time lapse and the animation modes, the motion module will trigger your camera for each frame. You have two options. You have capture and stay or capture and go to next frame. And you also have a frame counter in the middle. It'll show you what frame that you're on. So in this case, we're one of 170. And it shows you how long the video will be based on the 30 frames per second. So if we tap this, it will capture and move to the next frame. And you would continue this until you're finished with your animation. You can see that it shows you your progress so far. You have a progress bar up here and also the percentage that you're finished. So that wraps it up for the app portion of the motion module. I'll mainly be using this unit for B-roll shots, so noise really isn't an issue to me. But I'm sure some of you out there would like to know what kind of noise this thing makes during its operation. To test this, I'll place a shotgun mic pointed directly at the unit, and I'll run it at various speeds. Pointing a microphone directly at the unit while it's in operation is obviously a worst case scenario, and I don't think anyone would ever do that. But as you can see, the unit does make some noise. It really depends on how fast you run it, and at the slower speeds, the noise is really well controlled. As far as automated sliders go, I still love my Slider Plus and Action Module. But there's times that I don't always want to carry that much equipment, and that's why I'm so excited about the Slider 1 and Motion Module. Its small size and wireless functionality open up new possibilities, and I have no excuse not to have an automated slider with me at all times. I'm proud to add the Slider 1 and Motion Module to my arsenal of gear, and I know you will too. So, thanks for watching. Until next time.